So at present, I continue to get queries regarding Sinovac as primary vaccine and whether Sinovac as a booster can be an effective booster or not. So here I have two questions from my subscribers regarding what vaccine booster should they get having Sinovac as primary vaccines. And the controversy regarding the effectiveness of Sinovac against Omicron, even with a third dose, was put into question when this particular article came out, showing that Sinovac booster was insufficient against Omicron. Now, this University of Hong Kong and Chinese University study conducted, presented a month ago, found that a third shot of what is one of the world's most widely used COVID vaccine, Sinovac, does not really produce enough levels of virus neutralizing antibodies. Again, they were measuring antibodies as a surrogate marker to determine effectiveness of the vaccine. So a third dose of a vaccine, however, produced by Pfizer, significantly improved protection for those who had previously taken two doses of Sinovac, also known as Coronavac. So what then is the latest update on Sinovac as primary vaccine, followed by Sinovac booster or mRNA vaccine against Omicron infection? Let's watch this. So just a few days ago, the World Health Organization's incident manager for the pandemic emphasized that COVID-19 vaccines such as Sinopharm and Sinovac do protect against severe hospitalization as a result of the Omicron variant. This particular article provided that this Sinopharm and Sinovac COVID-19 vaccines do indeed provide protection against severe illness, against hospitalization, including death from Omicron variant, despite declining levels of the protective antibodies. Now, researchers from the Yale University, the Dominican Republic's health ministry and other institutions, however, concluded that two doses of Sinovac with booster shot of the same vaccine was not enough to stop Omicron infection that we all know, and that's true among all the different vaccines. We still get what we call as breakthrough infections. But evidence have shown that these COVID-19 vaccines still protected against severe illness, hospitalization, and death via a different pathway. And that is the T cell response. So that even when the neutralizing antibodies do go down over time, it's the T cells that come into play, whether it's Sinovac or Sinopharm. Now, this particular assumption was further substantiated in a Hong Kong study by the medical team from the University of Hong Kong and Chinese University, where the researchers also noted that Sinovac vaccine elicited a wider range of virus-specific T-cell responses, which compensated for the part decline in neutralizing antibody protection. Now, some good news for those who opted for Sinovac as a booster shot. A new research data recently published showed that three doses of Sinovac vaccine produced higher neutralizing antibodies in 95% of recipients compared with 3.3% by the second dose after variants of concern, including the Omicron variant. The research provides us a reassurance, therefore, for those who opted to receive Sinovac as a booster, that these inactivated vaccines do indeed work and remain effective in our fight against COVID-19 infection, including the recent Omicron variant. In this research conducted among participants who had received three doses of Sinovac, 
The researchers were able to isolate 323 human monoclonal antibodies, which are the antibodies made by cloning a unique white blood cell, which targeted various virus for effective killing, and that out of these 323 antibodies, more than 300 antibodies exhibited adequate killing activity against most variants of concern and variants of interest, and that majority of these antibodies had the ability to react with the Omicron receptor binding domains. It added that about a dozen of these antibodies showed a direct and highly potent neutralization effect for the Omicron variant and whereby these antibodies executed their neutralization by directly blocking the interactions between the virus and the human cells, thus proving that the booster dose of Sinovac COVID-19 vaccine do indeed work, activates the T cells against Omicron variant in a similar way to the original strain. On the other hand, for those who opted to get a heterologous booster shot like an mRNA vaccine as booster after Sinovac primary vaccine, studies have also shown that they are also very effective against Omicron. Administering an mRNA-based vaccine such as the Pfizer or Moderna as a booster after initial doses of Sinovac was found also to be very effective in producing a high level of immunity against both Delta and Omicron coronavirus variants. In fact, the immunity level significantly increased after a booster dose from a different type of vaccine, especially the mRNA-based vaccine, showing that we do need to get a booster vaccine to fight against the Omicron variant. The level of immunity in that study was shown to increase to 282.5 and 729.3 for Omicron and Delta, respectively, from two full doses of Sinovac, followed by a booster shot, usually a smaller quantity of Pfizer. Therefore, these data are all good news, whether you choose Sinovac as a booster or you choose mRNA as a booster shot. So for those asking me, therefore, what booster shots to get after Sinovac is really a matter of preference. You can get Sinovac, an mRNA vaccine, or even AstraZeneca. Data have shown that all these vaccines approved by World Health Organization with emergency use authorization are not only effective, but also safe for all who need to get protection against severe illness that will happen with COVID-19 infection. And to those who are candidates for booster, they should therefore get that booster shot within three months after the second dose for the two-dose primary or within two months after the J&J or the one-dose COVID-19 vaccine. I hope this video is helpful for those who have been given Sinovac vaccines and who are not sure what booster shot to get against Omicron variant. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon.